Hello everyone and welcome to Europa Universalis. My name is Rudy and today we are looking at your, the Cradle of Civilization update and we have a very special situation that we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing as the Nation of Shiraz. Now this isn't actually in the update. This is a custom nation that I have created to get the Cradle, or what is it called, the Rekindling of the Royal Fires achievement. Now what that requires is basically for you to own a couple of provinces in Persia, but you have to be Zoroastrian, which is going to be very interesting. Uh, we have some custom ideas, so, well first off we have Discipline, plus 5%, Shock Damage Received, minus 10%, that's very good, and our finisher is Developer Cost, minus 10%. We have Reconquest of the Holy Land, uh, from the Romans to the Caliphates to the Hordes. Over the centuries, our people have been driven from their homeland. It's time to fight back and retake it. War score cost versus other religions. Then we get Keepers of the Ancient Scrolls. The Great Library of Persepolis contained many thousands of great works. While the library has been lost to time, the scrolls have not. Perhaps our scribes can decode the ancient texts and aid in our research. Mountain men. Our land is unforgiving, one of steep slopes and sudden drops. Mountain men, as they're called, excel in traversing these rugged environments and thus have been recruited into our armies as guides. Parthian guns. The mountains, mountainous regions of Shiraz make the transport of normal heavy siege equipment near impossible. However, the Parthian guns were especially designed light artillery pieces, allowing for quick movement in any terrain. The Arda Oraz. Now, I actually looked this up on Wikipedia, and this is true. The Book of Arda Oraz is a Zoroastrian religious text telling the story of a man understanding a journey uh, to the next world in order to prove the truth of the Zoroastrian beliefs. And that's tolerance of the true faith right there. Um, as Parthian guns were artillery, bonus versus fort, mountain men, movement speed, and an institution spread versus true faith provinces. Anyway, back to this. After the Arda Waraz, we have, uh, we just have some fort maintenance minus 10%. And then uh, mandate of the Aru Mazda, and I believe that's the holy ruler god, if you will, of the Zoroastrian religion. And the wise lord uh, Hura Mazda, Mazda is omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. Basically, he's everywhere and he knows everything. Uh, his mandate upon this nation guarantees our success, admin efficiency plus 5%. We're going to start off with Emperor Alexius Leo, uh, kind of a descendant maybe from Alexander or who really knows. Uh, and then, well we can't see this right now, but he has a child who's pretty good too. The last thing that I want to talk about is that we are going to be a feudal, uh, the new government form for the Timurids, I believe, is a feudal uh, theology or something like that. And uh, we are going to be Parthian, so a different culture group altogether. So we're going to start this, and we are going to be. Well, I, I actually tried a campaign, and Ajan killed us, so we're going to do a new one. We're going to be overriding this because it did not go well. This is the second time doing it and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes out. Uh, yeah we, we died relatively quickly last time. Invaded Blue Chassan Ajam came in and we're gonna try and not have that happen again. Anyway, as the Timurid Empire's borders recede, a number of regional magnates and tribal chiefs see the opportunity to carve out a state for themselves. That's us. So we're Zoroastrian, trade efficiency, tolerance of true faith, uh, and some other stuff. Okay, so again, I did do a little bit of, of this before just to see how it worked out, and uh, Ajam basically came in and kicked our ass. So we're going to try and not have that happen again, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So Hormuz, Musasha, and Hassa. Alright, well, who is all these new people? Hasa is over here. Alright, that's fine. We want to actually go after Baluchistan too. And then Hormuz. And because 
we want to, let's sanction a holy war and get some claims on literally everything around us. All right. Let's look at some map modes real quick. So we got regular political, a lot of new nations in this patch. It's going to make the Middle East a lot more fun, I think, uh, instead of just there being the Ottomans, Mamluks, maybe Korra or QQ, and then, uh, and then Timurids slash Persians once they get destroyed. There might be a lot more interesting things going on. It'll be interesting to see how the Ottomans react with none of their cores anymore. That'll be really, really interesting. But anyway, as you can see, we have Parthian culture. It's our primary culture group. And if we look at that, we, uh, <laughs> we uh, have every other single lost culture in our culture group, which won't be appearing. But, you know, if Anglo-Saxons, we want to incorporate them, well, we can do that. Uh, and while we can, we're going to change these to Parthian as well, just to... Uh, just to, um, you know, make the country a bit more unison. We're probably gonna get rid of all the stuff over here and make it Parthian just for uh, thematic sakes, I suppose. Make it a bit more interesting. Okay, what's gonna go on here? We have no offers for alliances. Not even they will say yes. So, hmm. Is there anyone big that we could even try and get on our side? Okay, Cork Nula. Let's try and get QQ on our side. Let's uh, see what we can do there. That and... Okay, well, let's think about this. You're a rival. And your enemy is QQ. Okay. You don't like Najd, so maybe we can do something there. And then, yeah, Sindh and Multan. Hmm. We could try something with Sindh. Enemy of enemy. Um, or Najd. Let's try with, well, let's try and get Ajam to not hate us so much, maybe. That might work. All right. So, because again, last time they came in and just absolutely destroyed me. So let's try and make sure that doesn't happen. All right, so we're going to build up our military. We're going to build it up to, how many can we be? Nine. We're going to build it up to nine. And can we get any advisors? Not really. Not really. Um, oh, who's this? Huh, okay. Interesting. Well, we might be able to get some stuff. I'm not sure. We are going to move our troops over to this side of the country and just see what happens. Uh, we're going to set you to go protect trade in Hormuz. Wow, they actually have... I saw that correctly. Our trade is not bad. That's not a bad trade setup. Gathering Storm, the ruler of the Timurid Empire, Shahrukh, uh, Shahrukh, I believe, has been ill since the beginning of 1444. Um, and the Timurid provinces basically are going to start rebelling because of this. So as long as Shah, Shah Rukh lives, the ruler of the Timurids, basically once this guy dies, the Timurid Empire collapses. So we might want to go to war if, you know, someone around here if that happens. I think our first options to go into war would be either Baluchistan, who allied Ladakh or Hormuz which allied with those people diplomatic so all right one two 
Oh, well, that's interesting. That's a scary thing to see up there. N3, okay, they got Haas over there. All right, let's see, what do we wanna do? Hmm. I'm scared that once we declare war on someone, someone else is gonna try and kill us. We need allies. And allies are far and few between in these parts, let me tell you. scary about Ajam is that they have, I think, 10,000 troops probably, but then they also have Ardalan and Luristan in there too, which makes it even worse. Let's bump up the speed. And, well, we got that done. Oh. Kui... no. What's this guy? Kuistan? Kui... Here. Well, I mean, that kind of tells us what we need to do, obviously. I, I think there's no other way around that. Um, you hate us. Oh, that's right. I want to try and mitigate stuff with you. You desire some provinces. Let's, uh... Okay, you went to war. Let's try and develop one of our provinces. Actually, we need to give some stuff to nobility first. That has cows. And that is a fort. We can get up to... There we go. Can try and do something with merchant guilds or the clergy. I don't know if that's gonna work anytime soon. Or can do we can do something like that. Grant monopoly charters, stuff like that. Okay. I want to develop enough of my provinces so we can get up to ten force limit. And it looks like Mogostan is the best place for that. And we're gonna do, I think, some admin power. I'm just right off the bat. Could try some military power. Sure, why not? really should be saving this for mill tech, but I think we kind of need to do that as well. I want to get up to 10 force limit. Let's see here. Where do I find that? Uh... Oh, there goes France with the sort of Marne. The Marne? Yeah. Let's get a general. Let's do that. And all right, I've got some uh, movement speed. That's not bad. Let's see. You really don't have any money whatsoever. There we go. I knew that would happen eventually. Because we're poor, we're gonna go for another infantry. Okay. How many troops does Hasa have? Probably not a lot.
Wow, you are at war with a lot of people. Let's see here. I want to go to war. Oh, I should probably be putting you guys on uh, the new action. Drilling! Let's do some drilling with you guys. Yeah! We have all of... 0.83 army drill. Nice. That's, that's what we need. So you're going to win that war. Alright. I'm thinking we take out Baluchistan. We just kind of do it and uh, see what happens. Let's just... There we go. There we go. Um, actually... That makes me think. No guy would join. Why don't we go after Baluchistan and know that Ajam is probably not going to do anything? All right, so Baluchistan, what do you have? You are down here, seven thousand. I think Lukam, Lu, Ladaka, four thousand, and Hasa with an H. I believe, was the last one. 5,000. Yeah, so we got 10, 20,000. We can take them on one at a time, though. And, uh... I think we can take them on one at a time. Let's wait for our morale to come back up. We definitely want to base manpower, I think. That's a good idea. Uh, elective monarchy in Poland, there we go. You're actually winning that, but it doesn't matter. Oh, you won't join. That is fantastic. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, of course my boat got killed, but that's... Oh no, it didn't get killed. There we go. That works. Can we get you? No, we can't. I think because these guys are split up, we can just go back and forth and stack wipe them one by one, depending on who wants to come at me first. That should work. I think it should work. We'll see. Okay, oh, did not see that. I was looking away for two seconds. Gosh darn it. Look away for two seconds, and of course, that's what happens. Okay, when are you going to get there? 16th, 6th, the 10th. <sighs> I swear, I was looking away for two seconds, and that happens. Where the AI knows when you're looking away. There we go. Oh, come on. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, all's not lost. I know that much. It's not lost. Just uh, a little bit more difficult than I would like. like the one of those cartoons you see this is fine everything's fine no let's not do that we need the we need the mill points we want to At least we have the mountains to our side. Um, there we go. Mountains to our side. And we're back. We are back in the running. Let's turn it down to speed three. Let's just wait for two seconds. Actually, we can do this. There we go. They won't be coming back anytime soon, I think. Watch as I'm wrong. There we go. Park me in. I said maintain diplomat. Let's let's do let's keep that going. Just keep smashing their army. making money again. We have basically no manpower, but we are making money. Eighteenth, twenty-second? Oh, we're going to be getting the little guy, I think. We are going to be getting both of them, I think. No, come back. I swear I probably won't kill you. Come back. There's an eight versus a three. Seven versus two. There we go. Okay, you're still at war.
Well, there's that. Can only do one at a time. All right, shaky start, but we're getting there. I'd rather lose prestige. You're staying on your island. I could probably take that fleet, but I'd rather not. Just in case. And we're out of manpower. Um. No, this is my land. <laughs> Who are you at war with? Ah, all right, well, that helps. You're still not welcome in my land, but thank you, that helps. You're going to try and go siege down my fort again, Mr. Hassa. Oh, and they're attacking into the mountains. We should... Negative two versus a zero. Well, that's, that's fantastic. If you can get there on time, which you did. All right. Can't get there. Okay. All right, and there go the Timurids. Oh, I need manpower. I'd really rather not fight them again because I need to take this fort down. The good news is that we're making money. So, there's that. I do you cannot drill mercenaries I don't think these are mercenaries game build supply depot uh, cost 20 military power and boost supply limit it's not really what I need but that's interesting Hassaz no longer here and looks like we are about to probably break down that fort. That said, hmm. I think we are going to leave it here right now, though, just before we hit 14. 50 about five days before so uh, around christmas i think but we don't care about that we're zoroastrian all right so what's going around in the world castile is losing to granada eh, no it doesn't look like it england and france are at war poland and lithuania is a thing other than that not too much else has changed uh ajam and qq are no longer at war I should probably get out of this war so I don't get a surprise attack from Ajam. Timurids took over quite a lot over here. That's not a little scary. Because they could try and be killing me next. Although, it looks like... 85, 89, 83... Oh yeah, they're going to explode soon. 
Well, join me next time, and uh, let's see how this war goes then. Uh, see you later.